so I've been having a little bit of a struggle with my golf swing. I've been trying to groove that move of the drop from the top, but it is just not clicking on the golf course. So given that we're at the start of winter, I am oddly, possibly weirdly, quite excited to get to work, to really put the graft in over the next few months so that I can come out swinging in the spring. So the first step of looking at what I want to work on in my swing over winter is to go for a session with my coach Jason, which I did and I filmed it. So I'm going to share that with you now. We look at doing a bit of an audit on my swing, seeing why that drop from the top might not be quite coming out on the course. And then Jason brilliantly identifies the one move, almost like that first domino in the sequence, that I'm actually not doing to be able to even drop from the top if I tried. So the main challenge I would say this week is when I've been at home doing my dry drills in the garden or even actually doing the basket drill on the range, I feel like the swing goes better than when I am playing on the course. And it's almost like I'm trying to create the drop. But when I then, obviously, because like filming stuff for Instagram and things and I watch it back, I just know that I'm not coming from the inside. I'm still almost a little bit shoulders out and not quite getting that drop. And it's almost like my brain's trying to do it, but my body's not letting me. So as we're entering the winter, what do you think we could work on over that time? But also what would you say is like the number one thing for me to work on to get back to having that into out swing that we've been working on? Yeah. Okay, Jess. Well, I think as we've as we've known since day one, um, your tendencies is to, to very much have a, a goal swing which comes your arm yeah. swing away from the body. That commonly term known as an out to in swing, which obviously makes it very difficult for you to get high performance with the woods, the driver. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more scope to allow better performance with the shorter irons, the mid irons. Yeah. <clears throat> so. You know, looking through video footage, and as we know with this game, it's it's like a roller coaster that it just keeps going. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't stop. Um, so the maintenance and 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 graph that's required against your tendencies yes. is something yeah. that has to be a constant form of work. Yeah. So having looked at videos and and as you said, you know, getting it good in practice, dry drilling, yeah. a bit tougher on the course as we know, which is a million dollar question for everybody. But Certainly a key thing for me, as we said, just looking at your setup there is obviously when you work the golf club to the top, yeah. having looked at videos, I think what the great players do, they're very good at the, the banking of the right foot, yes, which okay. allows the right yeah. side to stay back. So if I can just enhance on that a little bit, when we look at your videos, obviously in trying to get the arm structure, as you yeah. work down, you, you very quickly in the lower body, you yeah. start to go out onto your right toe. Yes. So as the right knee and the right toe goes up, you can clearly see my arms will Coming get out. forced yeah. forward. Okay. So I get forced forward, the arms go away, and then they have to come back, which pushes my left shoulder up, and then obviously the path works a little from out to in. Okay. So that's something, again, that is a, is a battle. Everyone's yeah. got their defaults. Yeah. And, and I never know gonna... I, can, I can feel it in myself when I swing. I sort of do kick high I think yes yeah absolutely and yeah. I think what's funny when you say that is actually what I've been trying to do is have a feeling in my arms yes but obviously if something yeah. in my lower body is doing like it's like the dominoes if I've already set that dominoes going to like throw me out no matter how much my brain is thinking drop drop it's it's kind of too late almost in the yes. sequence of the swing yeah. okay perfect. yeah so you know how how it you know it kind of looks you know you can look at as I said you can look at Lots of great players, their swings all look a bit different at the top. Yep. But one thing, you know, we could use, I could name four credible players, John Rahm, Tiger Woods, Tommy Fleetwood, Rory McIlroy. If you look at their lower body impact, they're almost identical. Okay. So if you cut the top halves of the body off and you didn't know their shoes, you think, who is that guy? Yeah, yeah. You know, and the principle of it looking when we get to the top, you know, as, as you're trying to let the arms fall behind you, this right, instep banks inwards and as it banks in as the arms drop it also feels like the right hip and thigh push backwards this way here okay you can clearly see there i can keep the arms coming down yeah but also by banking and pushing it back i'm starting to clear my hips as well so as i reach the golf ball you could say the yeah. word i'm lower but i'm staying a lot more in my posture as opposed to standing up yeah, a little early. Yeah, which is what I do. Because I know, again, impact. like watching stuff back, my tendency is to get like high shoulder, isn't it? It's to sort of come in and then feel like I'm sort of making space almost. But I think actually 
what I've obviously been doing is kicking that, like not doing the banking. So it's almost like toe goes high, knee comes up, and then I have to go high. Yes. Whereas, and I know as well, which maybe will tackle after the banking, I can release a little bit early, which I'm guessing is all sort of connected to going high, but trying to get to the golf ball maybe, like sort of throwing my arms at it rather than feeling like if I have banked, I'm imagining that space to stay low. There's just a lot more like bandwidth to actually feel like I can stay low rather than have to shove my shoulder Yeah, high. absolutely. And, yeah, and okay. that, that can, you know, and certainly with a driver, a little bit of an early release, sometimes shallower, you can, yep. you can get away with it. But when you're hitting irons from the floor, yeah. as, as you quite rightly said there, Jess, is the link is that when, that, when, you're, when you push out this way and you go out and you go high, your subconscious feels the club needs to get back. Yeah. So in doing that, it can yeah. cause you to release the club head early. Yes. So yeah. as you release the club head early, the club head arrives at the ball with the grip behind. Yep. So now you've lost a lot of yeah. energy. The strike is more well, upwards. that's it, because I think, I don't know, I went through a run as, as, as we know, because we worked hard on it, especially last winter, of feeling like my swing was really there and we were sort of like staying on top of it and it was allowing me to score well. And then, like you say, that roller coaster has sort of almost like grabbed me by the shoulders and been yeah. like, all right, you've got some more work to do. Because I think I have felt or noticed in myself that I've sort of lost distance across all clubs, I think, especially like big, you know, full swings, whether that's driver or like four hybrid, even longer irons. But also it's, it's almost given me, because I've had a lot of misses that would say be quite thin or like pushes out to the right or even sometimes slices out to the right. Yeah. I just feel I've lost a bit of that confidence in myself of knowing that I've got the moves to execute. Yeah. I'm almost more standing over the ball thinking, I don't just hope this goes straight <laughs> rather than actually feeling like I can give it full power. Yeah. Um, so I guess working on that banking would mean that if you know you're sort of channeling that energy in the right way, you can kind of go for it rather than worry that actually, uh oh, I'm like using that to send, you know, the power is sort of going high, sending me up and away rather than using that to drive drive through. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, you, you've made incredible strides in the last 12 months with a lot of your game, right the way across the board with some great success. But as just from my experience and, and golf is, it's, yeah. the game has seen you make great strides. And this is just a little spell where it's saying to you, like, they're just, they're just pulling the carpet yeah. slightly from your feet because they're work. saying to you, they yeah. want you to go again. Yeah, They've definitely. seen you progress. Yeah. They've seen you move forward. But now they're saying we want you to try and just increase that Absolutely. finer detail, yeah. another level. And I think, you know, with, with your work ethics and, and how hard you work and how disciplined you are, I think if you can get closer to cracking this, I think yep. you're going to make another breakthrough yeah, in your game so. and go forwards again. And now is the time because it's winter. There's no better Already. time to do it. There's no, no big tournament. So, yeah, you know, exactly. the, if you play on the course, it's more for a little practice bit of fun and, and practice. Yeah, exactly. So now during the winter months, you can really attack it. Yep. Move yourself out your comfort zone. Yeah. Push those boundaries down that are in your way and go to the next level. Absolutely, let's do it. Right, should we hit some balls? So that is the move, that banking of the right foot. That is the key move that I'm gonna be dry drilling and practicing while I'm making a cup of tea, making a cup of coffee, waiting in line for something. I'm gonna be grooving that move until it is muscle memory. Really feeling like when I get to the top of my backswing and then drive with the pressure into my right instep rather than into my right toe, which is what I had been doing sending me high, getting a bit of a high shoulder and then having to kind of reach for the ball, getting that over the top and a little bit of the early release. As we saw with Jason's description, it's like if I can get that right banking going well, everything else can sort of carry on from there. It is a positive domino set off on that sequence, which is what we want. I will keep you posted. I will be documenting my progress and I would love to hear in the meantime what you're excited to work on over the winter. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you there.